Hello, welcome to inspiredfinger.net once more. My name is Shoshok Puso and today uh, is our day one or lesson one of the piano theory series, okay? I actually started this series just to address some concepts and topics and uh, let me say technologies in music that I just believe you know already, okay? Because we'll be referring to them uh, in our videos, especially when I'm teaching songs, okay? So I just believe you should know all those stuff down already. And I know you'll be coming across such in several uh, music uh, you know materials out there so this will be a kind of aid to someone who doesn't have those foundation all right so just let me know uh, what you think about this in the comment section i will appreciate that all right so let's get started with what we have before us okay what we have before us today is a question asking us what is music all right and we have uh, dictionary.com to explain that for us and uh, dictionary.com explains it as an art of uh, sound in time that expresses ideas and emotions in significant forms through the elements of reading, melody, harmony, and color. Let me say that again. Music is an art of sound in time that expresses ideas and emotions in significant forms through the elements of reading, melody, harmony, and color. Okay, so that's just basically what music is. So um, I know this is a kind of overwhelming uh, definition, but I want you to pick out uh, a word from that definition. The word expresses, the word expresses there, tells us that music is a kind of communication tool you can use to pass an idea or, you know, state how you feel, okay, even without talking, all right, just true sounds, you can be able to tell whoever is listening to your music, uh, the kind of uh, mood you are in. For instance, if I play something real soft, or I don't want to play something loud that much, I just play something soft, you just know that I'm in a kind of gentle mood, all right, but if I play something jumpy or you know bright it tells you that i'm in a kind of happy mood so you will just understand just through the sounds the mood uh the performer of that uh, music at that time is actually in okay then i believe also that you watch horror movies as well whereby you know a kind of soundtrack was being played that tells us that a bad scene is about to occur or something bad is about to occur maybe a ghost is going to appear and you know then when i was a kid i used to run away uh anytime i hear such such sound i just know already that something is about to happen bad okay so you can see that music has been able to communicate what was about to happen in that scene even without me seeing uh, you know the action there all right so you can see how music is music is just a form of communication of an idea or a thought of a you know a composer of that music or the performer rather all right then finally before i go i would like you to know that uh you know uh just as you have your english language in the written form also we have music in the written form music has each uh its letters its um you know words its sentences and you know paragraphs phrases it has all those uh, elements embedded in it okay so uh just as you have your letters in english language you also have your alphabets in music as well which is a b c d e f g all right we have seven letters uh you know in music seven letters in music a b c d e f g if you keep going up it's you start again a b c d e f g all right and you keep going up like that all right and in music the letters are called notes and a collection of these notes are actually called a musical scale all right so just uh, have that in, at the back of your mind then just as you have your letters of your english alphabet combined into form words so also the notes in music combine to form chords okay so chords are like words so i can put something like a c e which is actually a word in english but here in music it's actually forming a chord not a word so you know you can just relate to them or liking them to be a word in music so these are actually this is actually a chord okay i can say c e g is a chord as well because i'm adding uh you know more than one note there all right yeah and it doesn't matter i can it can be four letter can move the five letter can move the six letters it doesn't matter the, o the only thing there is that you should just know that you are combining letters or notes together to form 
chords which are like words all right and just as words come together to form phrases or sentences also in music chords come together to form chord progression okay so when you move from one chord to another let me say i play okay i've actually formed a chord progression okay i just went from here okay so it's like four chords coming together to form a chord progression just as i will i would like to say in english uh i ran okay sorry he ran away or he he is chewing chewing gums okay so stops like that you know it actually relates to music as well because you're actually combining chords or you know putting chords in a sequence to form a chord progression okay so that's how it's likened to the music to the english sentence you make or the english phrases you make all right then um i think that should this should be final finally uh you know all these chord progressions can come together to form a particular music piece or a full song all right so uh you can have two or more chord progression forming uh a full song you can even just have one chord progression forming a song it doesn't matter but the major thing is that an idea has been passed at the end of the whole uh song okay so just as you have uh one or more paragraphs coming together to form you know comprehensions or passages in english okay so also in music you have chord progression, series of chord progressions, or even it could be one, it doesn't matter, okay? But it actually forms a comprehension or a song as it relates to music. All right, so thank you for, you know, uh, being my audience today. And I know I have a lot to, you know, share with you. We also have some other parts of the definition to break down, but I can't break them down because I want to keep these our series uh, videos as short as possible so that it can be easy and direct to the point. Okay, so in the next uh, video, I'll be telling you what's harmony, uh, you know, melody and reading which are the elements of music okay the basic elements of music okay so i will tell you what they actually are one by one so that you can grab the full uh, you know concept behind them thank you so much for being my audience and please uh, you know share this video and also tell me what you think about this series so that i can know if it's a help to you or if it's not <laughs> all right thank you so much and god bless you i'll see you later